in popularity for the demand for sober nightlife options do too. And we're looking ahead to the opening of a dry bar in the Twin Cities. It's called Club Throwdown and it's located on Arcade Street in St. Paul. The nightclub says a grand opening is in the works for March 15th, that's next Friday. There are plans to have live entertainment, a spoken word artist, karaoke and food. There will of course be mocktails, fruit smoothies, juices and tea options for drinks. It's set to kick off at 9 p.m. The cover charge is $11.11. Mocktails and non-alcoholic beverages gain popularity for the demand for sober nightlife options do too. And we're looking ahead to the opening of a dry bar in the Twin Cities. It's called Club Throwdown and it's located on Arcade Street in St. Paul. The nightclub says... First and foremost, shout out to Club Throwdown for them uh, trying to bring sober... What does this shit say? You got the arm right in front of me. Elevating sober nightlife in St. Paul, Minnesota. Shout out to them for that. Shout out to them for that. Making a fake bar for alcoholics and saying that it's elevating sober life. It's fucking crazy when you think about it. Now, before y'all get mad and cry, I'm not hating on this. I'm not hating on this. That's just my perspective long term. I think long term. Because how are the lights going to stay on? Like, don't get me wrong. The concept is good. It's a good idea. It's a great idea until you think about it. I don't know. I see some good from it. Shout out to them serving tea and uh, promoting healthy lifestyle. But to promote a healthy lifestyle and you using this, like, the actual negative part about it to like turn around. That's the problem right now with society right now. How about y'all join a book club or join some type of, I don't know, fitness, fitness club, some type of thing like that. Hell, even start hanging out with your family or kids or doing like little family outings or outside shit. I don't know. Or how about this? Just stop drinking in general and change your whole perspective of life. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you. This seemed like some little, some, 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 mm -hmm. some. I don't want to say the word. I'm just gonna chill. Like I said before, I like the concept of it, but long, it just doesn't make sense to me at all, man. You wouldn't take a recovering crackhead to his old situation of living when he was a crackhead and simulate that setting, but then just be like, "Yo, but there ain't no crack." I don't know, man. It might trigger people. Now, shout out to all the people who go out and don't drink at all. There's definitely people who go out, they don't drink, they don't even smoke, they just really go off energy. And there's people, a lot of people like that, that actually exist. But to say you're elevating a sober lifestyle while doing a bar setting is kind of weird to me. And I feel like, you know, it's just, like I said before, it's just a problem with society, man. We are in denial. We are a lot of delusional people here. Y'all need to get help, see therapy. There's nothing wrong with getting help. There's nothing wrong with getting help. There's nothing wrong at all. We are human beings, but I don't know, man. I just, I just, this is my opinion. You know, y'all can call me a party pooper and all that, but you saw, if you watched the video, folk, you'll see what I said. But I don't know, man. I personally, uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this shit. I'm not a fan of this shit at all. Because I'm very curious to how, like, is this going to be like a one-week event thing? How long are they doing this? Like, this is kind of weird a little bit. But just look at it. Like, sober and bar in the same thing is kind of weird. Like, why not just call it a sober club or a sober? Call it something else. Why do you want to simulate the negativity? This is like niggas that be ordering motherfucking, who stop eating meat, stop trying to eat wings, and then these niggas got, like, every version of, like, every variation of the shit. It's like, who are you, bro? Like, give the shit up, nigga. Niggas be eating cauliflower wings and shit. Vegan chicken. Vegan greens. How the fuck? The vegan green? I don't know. I might have just reached with that last one. I'm pretty sure them shits is this, too. But all I'm saying is, bro, we got to just stop. If you want to elevate and actually have a sober life, don't drink at all. Don't even go to a spot that's going to make you trigger to drinking. Because if you are really not trying to drink and you go to a place called the Sober Bar, Throwdown Bar, anything bar with that in it, 
arts, even that type of setting is going to be a trigger. So I don't understand why people not even understanding that. But shout out to all the people that are supporting it. You know, they're going to go there and, you know, they're probably going to go to the bar right after. <laughs> so, hey, man, it's your boy Wayne. My life, not yours, man. Don't play yourself. Pray for yourself. We out, baby.